Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Possible Earth-directed CME A CME might be heading for Earth following the eruption of a magnetic filament during the late hours of July 28th, right after a large CME erupted from the northwestern limb of the sun. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded both liftoffs. Here's a closer look. Shortly after the eruption, SOHO coronagraph saw a faint, lopsided halo CME emerging from the sun's southern hemisphere. There is almost certainly an Earth-directed component. ETA, July 31st, August. First, NOAA analysts are modeling the CME now. Stay tuned for an updated forecast. Now a look at the CME that blasted off the northwestern limb of the sun. As you can tell a lot of ejector was launched into space. It hurled a cloud of energetic protons toward Earth. They are hitting our planet today, causing an S1-class solar radiation storm. The main effect of the storm is a polar cap absorption event. The red on this map shows the higher concentration of protons. What's causing this? It's all those protons. Earth's magnetic field funnels the particles toward the poles where their ionizing effect causes the absorption of shortwave radio. Here is a much closer view of this CME. A sunspot visible from Mars. There is a sunspot on the far side of the sun so large it is visible from Mars. Perseverance saw it yesterday during a routine check of the sun. The rover monitors the brightness of the sun over Jezero Crater as a way of detecting Martian dust storms. The sunspot will turn toward Earth early next week. For the lunar observers, July 29th, the moon is in the waxing gibbous phase. Illumination, 85%. Two days, 20 hours, till the next full. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Bye.